marks 20 years since 21 people were killed in the E2 nightclub tragedy. WGN's Jewel Hillary has more from an emotional vigil with family members of the victims. In Lordish and Ray, 20 years later, the building where the old E2 nightclub was located still stands. And for many, the indescribable grief associated with the tragedy that took place here still remains. Mama, I can't believe you left. But I promise you, ain't nobody gonna forget. 20 years ago, Shapira Hicks was a little girl when her mom, Latoya McGraw, was killed in the E2 nightclub. Years later, the grief is raw. Make sure y'all keep y'all mother close because you never gonna get another one. Antonio Myers. On February 17th, 2003, the chaos inside of E2 erupted after security guards sprayed pepper spray to break up a fight. Club goers panicked and rushed to escape out of a narrow stairway leading to Michigan Avenue. In the rush to escape, 21 people were killed and dozens were injured. Man, it was crazy. Howling people was dropping dead right in front of your face. And it was nothing. You, you was helpless because you were alive, but you seeing people dropping dead. Danielle Green was one of those who lost her life. But at the end of the day, just all I say, I told her I love her. I always say you love your people because you never know. That might be the last day. Less than a year before the catastrophe, a Cook County judge ordered the second floor of the club to close because of code violations. Now, some family members say they want the building torn down and a memorial put up for their loved ones. It was no justice served for these 21 victims because the city is still liable. I don't care what they're telling people. It's a whole lot of undercover stuff was going on, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. It doesn't get any better. My best friend lost his son, Michael Wilson, and I remember that day like it was yesterday. E2's owners were charged with manslaughter, but those charges were overruled on appeal. In 2015, the owners served 500 hours of community service. Reporting from the near south side, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.